Richard Allen Watson, and I'm an ophthalmologist in St. Joseph, Missouri. I trained at the University of Arkansas Medical Science Campus, and I finished my residency in 1990. And today we're going to discuss meningitis. As we stated before, there's different causes for meningitis, and the linings of the brain are the meninges, and they also extend down through the base of the neck and into the spinal column. And the linings surrounding the spinal column can become inflamed and also infected, and that term is known as spinal meningitis. Sometimes that is seen in individuals that have a lumboperitoneal shunt siphoning off the fluid from the pressure from around the brain that extends down along the spinal cord, and it it is a tube that's connected to the peritoneum, and usually it's con- that's all kept sterile, but that can become infected and clogged with proteins, causing the pressure in the brain to rise, and those individuals will become listless and develop severe headaches. Um, an infection to the meninges surrounding the spine will cause a stiff neck, stiff back, lethargy, later on followed by confusion and loss of consciousness. But typically, it's some of the same symptoms that you see with just regular meningitis. This has been Alan Watson discussing meningitis and the causes and treatments of it.